Hier ist Ken aus Tucson, Arizona. Es ist Zeit für Deutsch. Es ist Zeit für Deutsch. Hey everybody and welcome back to another Your Pennsylvania Dutch Minute. I've gotten requests over uh, over time for more material geared towards kids. And being a father of young children, I totally understand why people want that. They want things that they can do with their children or their grandchildren. We've done some songs here on the channel. Um, and of course, a couple years ago, Rachel Yoder and I put out two children's books that are bilingual Penny Olive and Davy Apple Butter, and I'll put links in the show notes to those books. If you don't have a copy or you'd like to get a copy, they're really neat because one side is the story in English, and then you flip the book over, and then it's the exact same story but in Pennsylvania Dutch with a lot of references about Pennsylvania Dutch culture and language. They're great books for you to read with your children or to have children read or just for you to read as well. So I have young children, and before my kids were born or when we were when we knew my wife was pregnant, I went about starting to take kids' books and translate them into Pennsylvania Dutch so that I would have material to read to my kids at night when it was bedtime because there weren't any children's books out there in Pennsylvania Dutch, at least that I knew of. So one book that I did, and this was a couple years ago, is a, is a very popular children's book, Bear Feels Sick. Uh, and this book was written by uh, Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. Uh, and let me just make sure I say this right because I think one... Uh, yeah. Karma Wilson wrote the book and Jane Chapman illustrated it. So this was one book that I really enjoyed the story. So I translated it into Pennsylvania Dutch. And what I would do is I'd buy the book and then I would write out the Pennsylvania Dutch and then tape it right over the book. So I have an English copy and I have a Pennsylvania Dutch copy. And what I'd like to do in this week's Your Pennsylvania Dutch Minute is read this book for you guys. And I've uh, put images on the in the video, I should say. So imagine that you can't read Pennsylvania Dutch, but you'd like to hear it. Well, here's an opportunity. Or find your kids, get your grandkids, bring them to the computer and say, sit down, we're going to listen to a story in Pennsylvania Dutch. Um, so that's our goal for today. Please sit back and enjoy Bear Feels Sick, or as I translated into Pennsylvania Dutch, Da Bear is Grunk. Da Bear is Grunk. By Karma Wilson, illustrations by Jane Chapman, and narrated and translated into Pennsylvania Dutch by Douglas Maidenford. A line inside the Eibelsloch, as der Spot your wind blossed, da bär fielt sich schmatzlich mit ein gestoppte Nas. A schnellt he und a dreht in so in hafe, da bär fielt sich mied. Aber er kann nicht schlafen. Er schnuppt und er niest, er hälscht, und der Bär fühlt sich krank. Seine Freunde sind zusammengekommen. Komm, ras und spiel! Der Bär schüttelt sein Kopf. Ich bin zu Krankheit. Die Maus sagt: Oh je, der Bär sein Kopf ist zu heiß. Der Haus sagt: mir wäre Helfer, da ist ein warm, gemütlicher Platz. Der Bär mummelt und er jammert, er brummt und er grächst, und der Bär fühlt sich krank. Die Maas drückt der Bär, er flischbart in sein Ohr, es wär gut, dein Freunde sind do. Der Dach springt Wasser, der Wissel kocht die Brie, die Beiskatz dichtet der Bär mit einem kielem, nassem Duch. Sie bedecke der Bär und der soft von einer Kuppchen. Aber er fühlt sich noch krank. Die Grab sagt, Ka, komm mit, Eil und Maus, kenn ich. Lass uns Kreider sammeln und wir bringen sie zurück. Sie titelliere der Bär, gleich wenn ich von Tee zu ziffe. Du fühlst bald besser, sagt die Maus. You schwor und say. Der Bär schudelt und schaudert, er huscht und er zittert. Er fühlt sich noch krank. Die Freunde kochen und brutze, sie pass gut auf ihrer Ohr, kranker Bär. Sie flispere 
sie laufe auf ihre Zeh, sie singe Schlaflieder und der Bär schlaft ei. Sie wache der Bär verstunde. Mir hänge du alles, was mir kende. Dann weckt da Bär uf. Und der Bär fiel gut. Der Bär kreischt, ich bin besser, ich fiel mich nei. Ich bin net heiß und schmatzlich. Groß dank. Los uns feiere, los uns draus geh und spiele, los uns in die Blätter tschumpe. Dann die Maus fangt da zu herchle und der Haus fangt da zu niese und die Freunde fiele sich krank. Der Bär mummelt, ach, drubbel leicht net und steckt sie ins Bett nahe, a bost jeder Kopf. A sagt all sei Freunde, Dir wart bald nahe viele. Dir hätt uf mich acht gebe, na geb ich acht uf euch. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Der Bär ist krank. It's a fun book. A lot of great Pennsylvania Dutch words I was able to incorporate into this story. Um, maybe if this is something you think I should continue in the future, let me know. I've, I have done other children's books that we I'd be more than happy to read and narrate. Um, also, uh, at the end of this video, there's going to be a list of names, and those are people that have supported this channel through purchasing buying me a coffee. You've seen the link below. I've talked about it before. I wanted to give a personal shout out to all of the people that have recently donated money to the channel. All these people have bought me coffees and I can't thank you enough. All of the money raised through that type of support goes towards new cameras, new microphones, helping to offset costs of running the channel and helping with my podcast as well. I promise you, I have not taken my wife out to eat on any of that money that's been brought in. Um, if you would like to continue, if you would like to support the channel, the link is in the show notes, buy me a coffee. If you would like to continue supporting the channel, if you have in the past, Thank you so much, and feel free to do so. I'm never going to say no or turn anybody away. So those lists of names, thank you from the bottom of my heart for the people that have bought me coffees and have supported the channel. In the meantime, as you're watching the end of this video, and if you have an idea for a future video or a question about something, Pennsylvania Dutch, that you just don't know what the answer is, email me uh, at the email address that's listed at the end, and I'll tackle that in a future upcoming video. But until next time, Keep practicing your Pennsylvania Dutch. Be proud of being Pennsylvania Dutch. It's part of who we are, who you are. There's nothing wrong with being proud of that. And until next time, Mox Goode.